NASA and SpaceX have hatched an audacious plan that will see the Starship replace the ISS and become a new orbital space station. SpaceX hopes that the Starship's versatility and size, and low cost, will allow it to become humanity's newest orbital outpost. But how will they achieve this uphill task? Does the Starship have what it takes to become a reliable launch platform? Stay tuned to find out, and please, if you enjoy the content, support us by subscribing. NASA has taken a significant step towards fostering innovation and advancing the future of human spaceflight and the U.S. commercial low-Earth orbit economy. They have introduced the Collaborations for Commercial Space Capabilities II, CCSC2, initiative, and partnered with seven prominent American companies, namely SpaceX, Blue Origin, Northrop Grumman, Sierra Space, Think Orbital, Vast Space, and Special Aerospace Services. The primary goal of the CCSC2 initiative is to strategically support commercial space-related ventures without relying heavily on government resources. NASA aims to provide valuable insights and resources to these companies, thereby enhancing the development of crucial capabilities necessary for establishing a robust low-Earth orbit economy. It's worth noting that each company participating in the program will finance its own involvement. Expressing his enthusiasm, Phil McAllister, the Director of Commercial Space Flight at NASA Headquarters in Washington, D.C., acknowledged the company's investment of their own capital towards innovative commercial space capabilities. He emphasized the mutual benefits of such partnerships for both the private sector and NASA. The companies can leverage NASA's extensive knowledge and experience, while NASA can potentially become a customer for the capabilities included in the agreements, fostering a positive cycle of collaboration and growth. Ultimately, these agreements are expected to promote healthy competition in space services and facilitate the emergence of new providers offering innovative space capabilities. As part of the CCSC2 initiative, all participating companies submitted proposals, which were thoroughly evaluated by NASA representatives to ensure alignment with the program's objectives and requirements. The most viable proposal came from SpaceX, which suggested using their Starship as an in-space, low-Earth orbit destination. Essentially, Starship would serve as a space station-like platform where astronauts could conduct scientific research in microgravity, similar to what is currently done on the International Space Station, ISS. SpaceX is collaborating with NASA to develop an integrated low-Earth orbit architecture, combining their near-term Dragon capsule upgrades and ongoing Starship development. This architecture includes Starship as a transportation and in-space low-Earth orbit destination, supported by Super Heavy, Dragon, Starlink, and other capabilities such as crew and cargo transportation, communications, and operational and ground support. The other companies involved in the CCSC2 initiative have different proposals that are still in development. For example, Blue Origin is working with NASA to develop an integrated commercial space transportation capability. Northrop Grumman, on the other hand, is assisting NASA in creating a persistent platform that offers autonomous and robotic capabilities for commercial science research and manufacturing in low Earth orbit. As for the concept of Starship as a space station, it aligns well with its intended purpose as described by SpaceX. Starship is envisioned to be a fully reusable transportation system capable of carrying both crew and cargo to various destinations in the solar system including the Moon and Mars. Additionally, Starship's design enables it to endure the rigors of space for extended periods, making it a potential replacement for traditional space stations. Its pressurized cabin can accommodate up to 100 people, making it feasible for long-duration space missions. This opens up exciting possibilities for future space exploration and human habitation beyond Earth. Starship also comes equipped with a remarkable ability to autonomously dock with other spacecraft. This capability simplifies mission operations by reducing the need for specialized equipment and intervention, making the process of rendezvous and docking more streamlined. Although the exact design for the project has not been finalized, an ideal configuration would involve a six-way docking node with four starships attached, along with a mating adapter for capsule vehicles and sufficient solar panels. In addition to the docking node, there would be a large central structure that is larger in size. This structure would house solar arrays and radiators, and it would be equipped with four large arms. Starships would dock using dorsal ports, which are significantly larger than the current docking ports. Through these ports, Cargo and new instruments can be transferred from one ship 
to the interior of the central node. From there, they can be carried to any of the other station ships through the large diameter arms. There is no need to limit the docking ports to those designed specifically for small capsules. It would be advantageous to include a couple of small current ports to accommodate spacecraft like Dream Chaser and others. This flexibility ensures compatibility with various spacecraft and expands the potential for collaboration and missions. Furthermore, the station ships in this concept can offer more than just orbiting. Thanks to the power provided by the central node, some of these ships can retain their heat shields and return to Earth every few months for refurbishment. During these trips, they can receive a new suite of instruments and undergo necessary maintenance. This approach simplifies the process compared to having astronauts perform these tasks, not to mention the cost savings in terms of astronaut work hours and the expenses associated with sending them on such missions. The basic ship for the station will be a recycled starship obtained from the Star Factory, which produces these spacecraft at a rapid pace. It is more efficient and cost-effective to launch multiple starships rather than converting a single one into a living space. Additionally, several private companies are currently designing futuristic space habitats that can fit inside large launchers, similar to Starship. They anticipate the need for a new generation of space stations once the aging International Space Station, ISS, retires, which is expected to be by the end of this decade. These habitats will be ready to launch and provide an alternative for continued human presence in space. One such notable project in the works is the LOOP, a multi-purpose orbital module unveiled by Airbus Industries. This orbiting laboratory encompasses science laboratories, living quarters, and an intriguing feature, a unique centrifuge that can generate artificial gravity. By spinning, the centrifuge will counteract the negative effects of weightlessness on the crew's bodies, offering a more comfortable and healthy space environment. NASA has also joined forces with Think Orbital to work on two significant projects, Think Platforms and Contessa, construction technologies for space applications. Think platforms involve the development of self-assembling large-scale orbital platforms that can be launched in a single mission. These platforms have diverse applications in low Earth orbit, enabling activities such as in-space research, manufacturing, and astronaut missions. On the other hand, Contessa focuses on advanced technologies like welding, cutting, inspection, and additive manufacturing, which are crucial for large-scale fabrication in space. VAST, another company collaborating with NASA, is dedicated to advancing technologies and operations necessary for microgravity and artificial gravity stations. Their project includes the development of Haven 1, a commercial destination designed to provide a microgravity environment for crew members, research purposes, and in-space manufacturing. Additionally, VAST 1, their first crewed mission to the platform, is part of this collaboration. Under the Space Act Agreement, there are also plans for the development of larger space station modules in the future. On a much larger scale, the Space Development Corporation envisions the ambitious Voyager Station. This extraordinary plan involves the creation of a massive rotating space hotel composed of multiple modules that, when assembled, form a colossal rotating ring. The Voyager station will boast luxury accommodations capable of hosting up to 440 people. However, it is essential to consider that these ambitious plans rely on the success of Starship or another large rocket. While Starship has achieved liftoff, it has yet to complete a full orbit around the planet. This is not unexpected. As history has shown, rockets often face initial challenges and setbacks as they undergo development and testing phases. The success of these grandiose projects hinges on the reliable performance of rockets like Starship. And if SpaceX's track record is to be considered, it won't be long before we see these plans start to become a reality. Elon Musk has stated that the next test flight for the Starship is just a few weeks away. And over the last month, observers have noted several game-changing upgrades being made to the launch facilities at Starbase. The company hopes that a new booster equipped with upgraded engines combined with water-cooled steel plates at the launch pad, will ensure a much smoother test flight for the Starship this time around. But for now, we can only speculate if the craft will finally reach orbit. What do you think? Is the Starship capable of acing this test? Can we expect to see it converted into a space station in the coming years?
Be sure to let us know in the comments section below and subscribe for more.